Hey, it's Allison from Computers.Mom, and today's video is designed to tackle the widespread confusion about the cables and ports and connectors we all use to connect our electronics, to charge them, and to sync them. We've all had that moment when we try to plug something in and we can't, especially if you have a newer phone or tablet or computer. Maybe your new phone came with a cable but no power adapter. The new cable plugs into the phone, but it doesn't fit in the power adapter you already own. Or maybe your new computer only has one type of port and you can't plug in a mouse or an external drive or a flash drive that you already own. There's a lot of tech jargon involved too, but the good news is that it's all pretty easy once you understand a few basics. So here's what you need to know. Normally, to connect any electronic device to power or to another device, you'll need a cable, which has connectors on each end, obviously. Sometimes the two ends are the same, sometimes they're different. Those connectors fit into the holes on electronic devices, which are called ports. And ports come in a bunch of shapes and sizes. Here's the port on a power adapter. A lot of ports with different shapes on the back of a desktop computer, and just a few on a new laptop. The whole trick is to have the right cable with the right connectors on each end for the type of ports on your devices. So how do we know what they are? Over the years, you may have accumulated a giant mass of random cables like this, so no wonder many people are confused. But there are just a few very common kinds of ports and connectors you will encounter most of the time. The first kind is often called USB, although its more accurate name is USB-A. USB ports are rectangular, like all of these, and the matching connectors are little flat boxes, like this. Here's a USB port on a power adapter and a closer view head-on. This type has been around for decades, and you'll find them everywhere, on electronics, at charging stations, in hotels, at airports, even on New York City buses. The only slightly tricky thing about them is that if you look closely, you'll see that there's a piece inside that makes it only fit in one direction. If the connector doesn't seem to fit into the port, you just need to flip it over and try again. The second, newer common type is USB-C, sometimes called the Thunderbolt. USB-C ports are shaped like a squashed oval. The connectors and ports are much smaller than USB-A connectors, and as you can see in this blown up view, inside they're symmetrical, so you can plug the connectors in either way, unlike USB-A ports. And the very last common type of connector is lightning, which is only found on Apple devices. Lightning ports are similar in shape to USB-C ports, but the connectors are different. They're flat and they have little stripes on them like this. Here's a USB-C port next to a lightning port. As you can see, it can be hard to distinguish them just by looking, but only the right type of connector will fit. So quick review, USB-A, often just called USB, is rectangular. USB-C is a flattened oval, and Lightning, only found on Apple devices, has a similar oval port, but the connector is flat with stripes. All three of these can carry both power and data, but at different speeds and different amounts of power. USB-C is smaller than USB-A, and faster and more powerful than the other two, so it is slowly but surely replacing both USB-A and Lightning as a standard. So you'll generally find USB-C ports on newer computers, phones, and tablets. You should now be able to plug your devices into power or to a computer or whatever you need. For example, here are two different power adapters you might use to charge a phone or a tablet or a computer. The one on the right has a USB-A port, the one on the left has a USB-C port. Now the cables that go with them. This one is USB-C to USB-C, so that will work with a USB-C adapter if I have a device with a USB-C port for the other end. This cable is USB-A to Lightning, so that will work with the USB-A power adapter, but only to plug in an Apple, iPhone, or iPad that has a Lightning port. Here's a side view of a Dell XPS laptop. You can see that it has a USB-C port and a USB-A port. The USB-C cable goes right in, but the USB-A cable has an up and a down, so it can be a little more fiddly. Remember, if it gives you trouble, just flip it over. So as long as you can identify the ports on your devices and you have a cable with the right connectors, you should be able to charge and sync all of your devices easy peasy. Common cables include USB-C to USB-C, USB-A to Lightning, and USB-A to USB-C. Worst case, if you don't own the right cable, 
you can buy one or just get a little adapter like this. For most people, that's all you need to know, but here are three bonus tips that might be helpful. All of these connectors we're talking about have multiple versions, so you may hear a USB-C shaped port described as Thunderbolt, or a USB-A port may be higher or lower speed. Unless you're transferring a lot of data, you generally don't have to worry about the fine points. As long as the cable connector fits in the port, it should be compatible. Second, I don't want to make this too long, but here are three other common types of connectors you may find. HDMI, which is often found on TVs, newer computers and monitors. And on older devices, you might find USB Micro, which looks like a flattened letter D, or USB Mini, which has this small trapezoid shape. Finally, don't forget that you may be able to skip the cables altogether and use wireless charging or a wireless data connection like Bluetooth or AirDrop. Those are subjects for another video. Thanks for watching, and as always, feel free to leave comments and questions below. Click like if you found this helpful, and don't forget to subscribe for more Computers.mom videos.